lot of stuff. Uh, this video is going to be talking about what we have been doing and what we're going to be doing this summer. Uh, probably the most exciting thing that we got going on this summer is we're actually going to be in a fishing tournament. It's going to be the NAPRA Fishing Tournament, N-A-P-R-A. Uh, we're actually going to be in the DFL series, which is going to be local around the Dayton area. And uh, something to look out for, guys. We're really excited about it. Uh, try to keep an eye out on that. Wish us some luck, and hopefully we might win. Uh, but that's going to be coming up. A lot of good stuff with that. Um, creek fishing obviously is coming up. We're getting really excited about that, and it's about time for us to do that. Uh, but anyway, going into this video now, guys. Now, we sat down over, uh, you know, after deer season, we got to thinking, you know, what can we do? Something kind of new, something kind of fresh. Now, I know there's some guys out there who hunt public land and, and do public land videos, which is kind of where we got this, what I'm getting into, kind of what uh, inspired us to do it. We're going to be doing a thing on our channel. It's going to be 100% public land. It's going to be called the Hunt for Public Whitetails. Now, what we're going to be doing is, just, like I said, it's going to be 100% public land. We're going to be showing you everything. I mean, the ups, the downs, our tr what we run into, what we don't run into. Uh, just everything happens. And it's going to be good. I think I'm excited about it. I know that I'm going to be putting a lot of time into it. Uh, and I hope that you guys like it because, you know, let's face it, guys. Private property, getting permission to hunt from these private uh, landowners nowadays is just becoming more and more, you know, it's not happening. You know, a lot of people say no, and, and now the new thing, you know, well, not necessarily now the new thing, but leasing, and, you know, let's face it, some of, we don't have the money to do it. I mean, we kind of ran into a problem, uh, our private landowner that we hunted up on uh, in Adams County, we actually lost that land this year. He's going to be leasing it out. And, uh, you know, we just didn't have the money to, you know, to lease it. And he, now he's leasing it, you know, which is good. He, you know, brings income for him and his family. But, you know, we're out that uh, land hunt now, which is okay. Which uh, is leading us in, once again, going back to the public now. Public land hunting. Now, I want to stress to you guys, you know, going into it, when we decided that we were going to do this, I, I was skeptical. You know, um, you always hear them public land horror stories, you know, and, uh, and, and realistically, my mind frame was, you know, there's not that many deer on public land and, and just that. Well, <laughs> I'm wrong. I'll tell you that right now. I was wrong. You know, we've been going out scouting. You know, we've been uh, two weekends now in a row. And uh, the first weekend when me and Matthew, my brother, went, uh, we found some awesome deer sign. I mean, we found this ridge with this trail going through it that's, you know, I, the baddest, meanest looking deer trail that I've ever seen. I'm telling you, never seen a deer trail quite like this. In the rubs, let me tell you about the rubs. We found so many rubs. And I'm not talking, I mean, yeah, we found some small rubs, but I'm talking, we found some big rubs out here on this public property. And, uh... And one good thing about it is that we notice is there's not much there's not much hunting sign. There's not much sign of other people actually hunting. Now we have found some sign, but the places that we've been looking focuses on where we found a lot of this good deer sign. Uh, it's obvious that there's not no hunters there, and for good reason. <laughs> Let me tell you, the walks getting back into these places is unbelievable. I mean, they are back there. And uh, that's something that is also, it's going to be more rewarding, I think. You know, when you're walking, you know, two miles to get back in this spot and you harvest the deer on public land, you know, it's going to be something that's going to be, well, we've been finding some sheds. We found two sheds so far, uh, you know, which is always pretty cool. And, uh, and honest, to be honest with you, these are the first sheds that we've actually found uh, ever <laughs> the entire time. I mean, we really, well, like I said, this is going to be... Uh, Public land, the hunt for public whitetails. I hope you guys like it. Give us some feedback. Let us know if this is something that you guys are interested in or something that you guys aren't. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty excited about it, though. I think that, you know, there's a lot of great opportunities out there on public land, and they get overlooked. Get out, guys. Let us know what you think about it now. And uh, there's going to be a lot more coming on this. 
And uh, like I said, creek fishing is coming up, so I hope you guys are pumped as we are for creek fishing. And as always, guys, we'll see you guys on down the trail.